It is only now in the 21st century, with new techniques, that scientists can for the first time open up the secret chambers in our heads and watch the complex system of hundreds of billions of neurons at work. Among scientists' most fascinating subjects of study are a small group of enigmatic talents, the so-called savants, the knowing ones. Savants can multiply five-digit numbers in their heads, or know 12,000 books by heart, or play a melody on the piano after hearing it only once. Over half of savants are autistic. Others develop these superhuman talents only after a brain injury. Experts all over the world are now starting to ask themselves, is it in fact a defect that turns a person into a genius? Were the giant minds of the past, from Newton to Mozart to Albert Einstein, actually autistic? different from savants like Dane and so extremely valuable to science is that he can describe what's going on inside his head. I experience numbers in a very visual way using colors, texture, shape and form, sequences of numbers, form, landscapes in my To scientists, this man is a gold mine, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This could be the linchpin that spawns off a new field of research. Why are they all so excited? Genius. It's not human. Matt Savage is exactly what he looks like, a Harry Potter among savants. But when he was a little boy, even the smallest noise made him cry, and he wouldn't even allow his mother to touch him. A pediatrician diagnosed Matt as being deeply autistic, incurable. But Matt's parents found a therapy for him. When he was six, Matt confessed to his mother, my head's full of mathematical problems. Soon afterwards, Matt discovered the logic of the 88 keys of the piano. He taught himself to play overnight. Six months later, he mastered Schubert's sonatas. Kim Peake from Salt Lake City was dismissed by a doctor as a hopeless case when he was only nine months old. The doctor suggested Kim's parents put him in an institution for mentally retarded children and forget about him. But then, at the age of two, Kim started to read. By the time he was four, he knew by heart all the indexes of a set of encyclopedias. Meanwhile, he has stored over 12,000 books in his head. He knows all the US highway routes and all the telephone area codes. Stephen Wiltshire from London is a star among savants. His nickname is The Living Camera. Stephen is autistic. He lives in a world of his own. Communication is difficult for him. He didn't speak his first words, pencil and paper, until he was five. Yet when he was 11, he drew a perfect aerial view of London after only one helicopter ride. Even the number of windows in all the major buildings in his drawing was correct. For this film, we're testing the living camera in Rome. Stephen has never seen the Eternal City from above before. After only a 45-minute helicopter flight, we'll ask him to draw a five-and-a-half-yard panoramic picture of the historic city center without having a second glance at it. In medicine, everything we know about health, we've learned from the study of disease. And so I think everything we learn about the brain is probably going to come from the study of, of disordered brains. How, how is that different from, from normal function? And the Savant syndrome provides a unique window to the brain.